Transportation Tower. This video was made by Nomad TV. Is it really right to marry this guy? The depressed feeling before marriage due to uncertain future. But the meaning is totally different for the women in Thailand nightlife. Their marriage blue has more than that. This story is about a woman named Te. She was born and raised in a poor area, Udon Thani. She got married to a Thai man and had two kids when she was 18. She was happy in the beginning, but her man was not different from other Thai guys. He quit his job six months after the wedding, drank and slept around with other women. And it's a normal case for Thai couples. They didn't get their marriage license until then. One year later, they got finally separated. She has to take charge of two kids without a job. And her parents couldn't support her and children. She threw herself on this nightlife industry in Bangkok. Fortunately, it was easy for her to enslave men. With her sexy body and cheerful disposition, she became famous as the mascot of the bar. Many guys got enchanted and spent a lot of money. However, she never has thought in her mind, no matter how handsome they are, No matter how rich they are, she kept rejecting their proposals. Unintentionally, this part man's combative spirit. There were scrambles to get her between customers. Only the winner of this fight could have a good time with her. Some of them regularly send their money after returning to their countries. She had 10 guys who send their money regularly. Although the total amount was around 50 to 60 thousand baht per month, she felt void in her heart all the time. It was about sincere love she wanted from deep inside her mind making a fake smile and sleeping with a stranger every night and making fake dates without showing emotion even though it was her will to come to this nightlife her mental state had been deprived during the past years then one day a traveler appeared in front of her he was a university student in Korea with a healthy and sound mind and visited Thailand after getting a notice of job offering. This guy was none other than it was me, Minos. When I landed in Bangkok for the first time 10 years ago, I visited Bakara in Soy Cowboy at first. Even though it amazed and dazed me in the beginning, was below my expectation and couldn't attract me. My initial purpose was visiting temples and castles in Bangkok, and I was too naive to know about Bangkok nightlife. However, I visited here again a week before back to Korea. And that was the beginning of this story. I also knew a little about the system of soy cowboy. But didn't want to spend money for dating buggers. There were only farang around the bar tables. And I relaxed on an empty chair and ordered tiger beer. 
What's your name? Which country? How old are you? The women in the bar repeated the questions in Thai plus English. It was annoying to hear their noisy voices. But it became a pleasant and cool place after I got tipsy. At the moment, one girl came inside with a tiring face. As you can guess, she was Te, the main character of this story. She had just finished her short time with a Japanese guy and already got drunk by some drinks from him. I just simply skimmed over her without care at the time. And I came back to the hotel after sleeping for two hours. After shower, I went to a bar in the same building. Couple of minutes later, Te, the drunk girl, also came inside. Wait, did you see the woman of the bar in Soy Cowboy? She also recognized me and came to my table. We talked about my life in Korea and the purpose of this trip to Thailand. Then she felt curiosity about me, a pure and naive guy. Wow, guys like yours are busy so cowboy. Unlike other travelers who are seeking for one night lover, a guy like me who came to learn about history and culture of Thailand was very unique and fresh to her. As we were all tipsy, she sat close to me and whispered, Do you want another drink in my house? Although I've never paid for dating then and now, I followed her into her house by inexplicable attraction. And next morning, I felt regret instantly when I woke up, but didn't show it in my face and hurried to go out. There was an awkward silence while she was seeing me out. And I gave her a 3,000 baht. Sorry, this is all the cash I have now. Then she made a pouting face and put it back to my pocket. I don't need it. Just take me to a Japanese restaurant. I passed it before and want to go with you, Minos. From that time, I started spending my days with her. She also asked me to come to her bar several times. Bar fine charge was paid from her wallet every time. She didn't care about the customers and her salary. We just talked a lot and walking around the night market hand in hand. Even though she had lived in Bangkok for a long time, she was so pleased with visiting everywhere together sharing street food such as roti and mango juice. We enjoyed our time as if we were a high school couple. <laughs> However, one week was too short for us. Without exception, the returning date came up. Spending the last night together, we just waited for the sunrise, holding hands without saying anything. And she said calmly, I can go to the airport with you, but I will not. I also knew what she meant, so I just nodded my head. In a little while after I took a taxi to Swanapum Airport, I got a long message from her. Minos, I don't want you to forget me after you back to your real life. Because for me, you're real in my real life for me. It's not vacation. You might took me wrong because of my job. But all the kisses and smiles were genuine coming from my heart. <laughs>